Welcome back, everyone. Um, I'm sitting here in the pre-sequel for a reason. Uh, you can probably tell from the title of this video. I got annoyed yesterday or today. I guess today the video is going up tomorrow. But I got today annoyed today about the comments from my last video. So many people bitching about Janie. Now, if someone says I don't like Janie because of multiple reasons i'd be fine with that there's plenty of characters i don't care for i don't really care for nurse nina um but every single person and, th and this has been going on for a while that complained about Janie, complained about her and had to mention that she's gay which means it's not a problem with Janie. it's a problem with you being an intolerant fucking bigot and fuck yourself who cares if she's gay what does that have to do with anything that shit just annoys the hell out of me so much. And just so many of the comments. People are like, oh, well, she's gay, 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 gay. She just mentions gay all the time. She mentions it in one side quest. And then she hits on women. But Nurse Nina is straight and she hits on men. No one compares, complains about Nurse Nina's straightness. Lilith and Roland date. No one complains about them being straight. You know, Moxie. I guess I've heard some people complain about Moxie. But that's because they're mad she's a slut. Which is, again, kind of... Uh, questionable. A woman, oh no, a woman likes to have, like, a little bit of sex, and even with that, Moxie mentioned, you know, she's had, like, four relationships in the Borderlands universe, and she's probably 50 years old. Oh no, that's so many. God, I've had four relationships in a fucking weekend. So yeah, back to that. People, like, who cares about sexual attraction? You're born, or... Yeah, you're born with sexual attractions, and what does that matter? It's not, a, like, sexual attraction is not an action. It's not something you think, not something you, I mean, you act on sexual attractions, but it's harmless. Like, I have friends that are into redheads or Asians or hairy guys, whatever, you know? All that doesn't matter. I'm, I care about how my friends treat other people and the actions they take in that way so yeah like i don't have to be intolerant of your intolerance or i don't have to be tolerant of your intolerance or respect your disrespect i just i would like to see some people i guess i don't want to see people dislike janie but it'd be nice to see people say i don't care for janie because x y and z and none of them involve her sexuality but if all of them involve her sexuality, it's just you being a bigot. These threads have come up on the forum so many times about Gearbox is forcing their gayness on us. No, they're not. They they casually mention it at best. Um, you know, Hammerlock was pretty undertone with his gayness. You know, Axton, you wouldn't even know he was bisexual unless you carefully listen to every echo log. It's very, very kind of laid back and quiet, and it's not in your face at all. It's just you have a problem with it because you're a piece of shit. You know, I mean, I have straight friends, gay friends, trans friends, whatever. It's it's about actions and how you treat others. And when you treat people like shit because of what they're attracted to, that makes you the piece of shit. It's, you know, the same with treating people differently or poorly because of the color of their skin. That makes you a piece of shit. It doesn't mean they're a bad person. It means you're a bad person. So stop being a judgmental prick and judge people on their actions, not on their sexual attractions or colors of their skin. And also, it's a fucking video game character. If there are two peop gay people, it doesn't affect you in the world. If there's a gay person in the video game, it affects you even less. Get the fuck over it. Actually, no, there is something else I want to do. I hear to, heard a lot of people like, oh, she's just a walking stereotype. She's just a stereotype and all this stuff. Well, the odd thing about that, and this is anecdotal, I admit, but every single gay person I know that has played Borderlands the pre-sequel loves Janie. Now, if she was just a shallow, crappy stereotype, they would not like her. Because there are a lot of bad gay stereotypes out there in media. And they are not liked by the gay community. But the gay community, from all evidence I've seen, 
fucking loves Jeannie Springs because she's not a walking stereotype. She's not cliche. She's a charming character that they identify with. And that's fucking beautiful for a minority community to be able to relate and latch on to a character in any kind of pop culture. That's something we should all love and get behind and embrace. But no, you have to try to take it away so you can have more of your precious fucking white males in your fucking video games. So, yeah. Fuck yourselves. That's all I have to say. Am I angry about this? Yes, I'm angry and annoyed. Am I going to lose some subs with this? Probably. Do I care about those subs? No. Because I don't care about fucking bigots. It's just... Yeah, get that shit out of there. And if you want to come and troll my comments and yell at me for like this, good, because I make more money the more you comment, so please troll away and tell me how I'm wrong. Uh, you're just going to support me, and that's cool. So I guess that's it. Peace out, everyone. I'll go back to regular videos tomorrow. Um, well, I might miss a day tomorrow because I have plans to go out with some friends after work. I might be able to squeeze in a video. But, um, yeah, I'll be back shortly. And, you know, for all of you that agree with the things I said in this, I hope you enjoyed me ranting and getting a little angry side of the dirt here. Uh, I hope you don't mind me talking about myself in third person. So, anyways, yeah, get over yourselves. It doesn't matter who people are attracted to. It matters the actions those people take. That's the moral of the story. Don't be a sack of shit. Good night.